come to you in the silence I will lift you from all your fear You will hear my voice I claim you as my choice Be still and know I am Shadows of the night, I will be your light. Come and rest in me. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each by name. Come and follow. I will bring you home. I love you when you are mine. I am strength for all the despairing. Healing for the ones who dwell. will see, the lame will all run free, and all will know my name. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each my name. Come and follow me, I will bring you In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion and friendship of God's Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we unite together, let us call to mind the grace and mercy of God. Let us humble ourselves before his mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I've done, in what I failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, 
Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, Amen. My dear people of God, let us collect all our prayers and let this one prayer unite us. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of Ecclesiasticus. If you wish, you can keep the commandments to behave faithfully is within your power. He has set fire and water before you. Put out your hand to whichever you prefer. Man has life and death before him. Whichever man likes better will be given him. For vast is the wisdom of the Lord. He is almighty and all seen. His eyes are on those who fear him. He notes every action of men. He never commanded anyone to be godless. He has given no one permission to sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Our response, they are happy who follow God's law. They are happy who follow God's law. They are happy whose life is blameless, who follow God's law. They are happy those who do His will, seeking Him with all their heart. They are happy who follow God's law. You have laid down your precepts to be obeyed with care. May my footsteps be firm to obey your statutes. They are happy who follow God's law. Bless your servant, and I shall live and obey your word. Open my eyes that I may consider the wonders of your law. They are happy who follow God's law. Teach me the demands of your statutes, and I will keep them to the end. Train me to observe your law, to keep it with all my heart. They are happy who follow God's law. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. We have a wisdom to offer those who have reached maturity, not a philosophy of our age, it is true, still less of the masters of our age, which are coming to their end. The hidden wisdom of God which we teach in our mysteries is the wisdom that God predestined to be for our glory before the ages began. It is a wisdom that none of the masters of this age have ever known, or they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. We teach what Scripture calls 
the things that no eye has seen and no ear has heard, things beyond the mind of man, all that God has prepared for those who love him. These are the very things that God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit reaches the depths of everything, even the depths of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. 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 Speak, Lord. Your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This proclamation taken from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not imagine I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish them, but to complete them. I tell you solemnly, till heaven and earth disappear, not one dot, not one little stroke shall disappear from the law until its purpose is achieved. Therefore, the man who infringes even one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be considered the least in the kingdom of heaven. But the man who keeps them and teaches them will be considered great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, if your virtue goes no deeper than that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never get into the kingdom of heaven. You have learned how it was said to our ancestors, you must not kill. And if anyone does kill, he will answer for it before the court. But I say this to you, anyone who's angry with his brother will answer for it before the court. If a man calls his brother fool, he will answer for it before the Sanhedrin. And if a man calls him renegade, he will answer for it in hell fire. So then, if you are bringing your offering to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you, leave your offering before the altar. Go and be reconciled with your brother first and then come back and present your offering. Come to terms with your opponent in good time while you are still on the way to the court with him or he may hand you over to the judge and the judge to the officer, and you'll be thrown into prison. I tell you solemnly, you will not get out till you have paid the last penny. You have learned how it was said you must not commit adultery. But I say this to you, if a man looks at a woman lustfully, he has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye should cause you to sin, tear it out, throw it in, away for it will do you less harm to lose one part of you than to have your whole body thrown into hell and if your right hand should cause you to sin cut it off and throw it away for it will do you less harm to lose one part of you than to have your whole body go to hell it's been said anyone who divorces his wife must give her a writ of dismissal but I say this to you, everyone who divorces his wife except for the case of fornication makes her an adulteress and anyone who marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again you have learned how it was said to our ancestors, you must not break your oath but you must fulfill your oaths to the Lord. But I say this to you. Do not swear at all, either by heaven, since it's God's throne, or by earth, since it is his footstool, or by Jerusalem, since that is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your own head, either, since you cannot turn a single hair white or black. All you need to say is yes, if you mean yes, no, 
if you mean no. Anything more than that comes from the evil one. The good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today's scripture invites us to a rather high standard. It seems as though Jesus is inviting us to what seems impossible. We're not sure if we can live up to these standards. But we are asked to rise to a higher standard. In fact, we are given two of the most difficult. One is that if we sin, we should mutilate our bodies, cut it off. And the other is in terms of relationships. Scholars tell us that we are to take some things contextually and metaphorically and others literally. In this case, we interpret divorce from a literal point of view and the idea to mutilate our bodies, to cut off or tear out our eyes as metaphorical. Over these past few days, we've had to also decide on whether we are to follow certain directives literally or in the spirit of them. Should we close our churches? Well, we have. Is attending Mass a non-essential activity? No, it's not. What about confessions? In all these cases, I feel we are called to transform ourselves and to go beyond to a much higher standard. And that is perhaps why on Valentine's Day, we were invited with that stroke of a WhatsApp message to implement this telecast as a way of reaching out to you. I think it weighed very heavily on our Archbishop. I think, and I know, he did it out of love for all of us to make sure that it is the full body of Christ that we preserve. And if we have to close our churches, literally, then metaphorically, we are to open our hearts. We are to open our hearts and rise to a new way in which we share this commandment to love, to reconcile ourselves with God. It is in this light that I'm broadcasting this Mass to you, to dear parishioners of St. Mary of the Angels and anyone who's tuning in. Because we are invited to keep the Lord's day holy. And in so doing, by tuning in, we are allowing his words to reach out to us, to transform our hearts, to rise to a higher standard. So perhaps while we sanitize our hands, while we close our churches and avoid large gatherings, in order to have a communal responsibility to the body of Christ here in Singapore. Let us remember that scripture is inviting us to sanitize our hearts and in so doing to offer true worship to God. We stand wherever we are here in this chapel, we stand but wherever we are, let us then profess our faith in a God who invites us to a deeper, higher standard and profess our faith in Him. Mm -hmm. 
the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us confidently call upon our Heavenly Father, who hears the cry of the poor and the afflicted. That the Church, that we, the Church, realize that we are called to a higher level of responsibility for one another and to use this time to pray and engage in spiritual works of mercy let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that all in authority in church and in civil society look after the common good and care for those in need in the, at this time of urgent need we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that all who have food clothing shelter share with those who have none let us pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that our health care the sick receive the necessary resources that we be able to reach out in prayer and in kind and support those who are finding life and time or finding this time a very difficult time we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that the dead find welcome and rest in god's heavenly kingdom we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer that we as a community linked by this gift of social media will also rise to a level in which we share this responsibility to care for one another by taking appropriate measures and ensuring that we are safe that the lord will assist us in our attempts we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer i invite you to pause for a while to hold those in need to complement these prayers that we have prayed god of compassion help us never to doubt your power to draw good from evil even in crises like these. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity.
Bless are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us. Be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away our iniquities, cleanse us from our sins. So pray, pray my sisters, my brothers, pray that what you offer to God, the sacrifices that you make, the prayers that you pray, pray that your offering and mine may be acceptable to God, our almighty and providential Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and good of all his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Then let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right. It is just. It is our duty. It is our salvation. Always, everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, he broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more, giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, resurrection you have set, set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence, minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church, 
spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our brothers, our sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with St. Francis and Claire of Assisi, and all the holy women and men, all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we, in our age, that we too may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. United with our brothers and sisters throughout the world, we pray as the Lord invites us to pray with confidence. And it is with confidence because we pray in communion with him as our Lord and brother. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, peace I leave you. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sin, but look on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us then be at peace, receive peace, and extend that peace to one another. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, on him hangs all the law and the prophets. Behold, the law of love. Behold, our reconciliation. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Bless, bless are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am Lord, not worthy that, that you should, should enter, enter under my roof, roof but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
my dear brothers and sisters who are with us and who are unable to receive physically the sacrament of the Lord's love let us remember his words that he is with us and in sanitizing our hearts let us remember that he comes in communion with us in this way we spiritually receive the Lord and in this way we fulfill his command let us pray having fed spiritually on these heavenly delights we pray O Lord that we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord Amen, Amen. the Lord be with you and with your spirit may Almighty God bless you Father Son and Holy Spirit Amen our Eucharist here comes to a close we live this glorifying the Lord by our lives thanks be to God